Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, good evening. Okay, so I couldn't hear you guys. No les podía escuchar. ¿Me pueden escuchar ustedes a mí? No. <laughs> sí, fuerte y claro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I wasn't able to hear you. I was like, oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, excellent. So welcome to the class. Thank you very much for that punctuality. It is very important to always be uh, punctual, right? So I appreciate it. I appreciate it that you taken to be punctual to the class. As you know, we are um, in section four. We're about to finish, finish section four. Uh, and I hope that you have a section four completed by tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to check check your grades and I hope we have finished the section number four because we need to go with uh, section five and the final exam. So by next Friday, not this Friday, but the next Friday, Friday, let me see, the 24th, Friday the 24th, I hope that you have finished because we know we're going to finish on Monday the 27th. Okay, so I hope that everything is done and ready by that time. Now, you guys, um, let's go here to the last part we were doing yesterday. Let me see. Speed things up. Okay, so yeah, we're going to see the present perfect. Okay. Present perfect is a really simple topic. It's not complicated at all. And the conversation we did yesterday was about the present perfect. But before we go with that, obviously I would like to go with today's attendance. So let me see. Okay, let's get to it. Let's see. Okay, remember to turn off the microphones only when you have to say, I'm here, you turn it on, okay? Adán Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. 
Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present. Jonathan Stanley Pérez López. Uh, Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. Present, Miss. Okay. José Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Verganza. Eh, present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present. Noé Aníbal González López. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present. Salvador Orlando Veracruz. Present. Yes, ok. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. ¿Oyente ahora, Sara? Ya. Yeah. I'm working. I'm sorry. Ya. Yeah. It's okay. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay, you guys, thank you very much for joining to this class. Remember, every time that you're a listener, just let me know, because if you're working or things like that, I I have to know and I understand, okay? I perfectly understand. It's not a problem at all. Okay, so um, wait a moment. I have some messages. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karen, I understand. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's continue. As I was saying before, we're going to go right now with the last topic we were looking at yesterday. In the, uh, we had a conversation, and I would like to check the conversation for you to wait a moment. What is happening here? Okay, so this is the conversation we were practicing yesterday, right? So, and if you can see the words in bold here, the words here in bold, okay. Oh my God, wait a moment. Let me see a little alert. Sorry about that, you guys. Allergies. Okay. Um, so if you can see here, these words, like have, wait, it's white. Okay. So if you can see here, like have and checked, and this one's here too, have checked and all these things. This right here, it is called the present perfect. In the, with the present perfect, is similar to the past, but it's not the same, okay? The present perfect talks about um, experiences. So with the past, the difference with the past is that in the past, we talk about an experience that happened in the past, but it finished in the past. But now with the present perfect, we talk about activities that started in the past, but maybe they haven't finished. Okay, and mostly we use the present perfect to talk about experiences. For example, if you say, I have traveled to the United States, I have visited uh, the beach, I have uh, learned how to play piano, and I have started to learn English, right? This is an activity that happened in the past, yes, maybe it will continue to happen, 
but it's an activity that it is an experience, okay? So if you can see here, I have checked, the first sentence we have there, I have checked. In Spanish, if you like to translate it, this is yo he revisado, right? So you're gonna understand that have and has, in this case, is going to be e, hemos, as, um, an, right? That is going to be. It won't be tener, because usually the meaning for the verb have is tener, right? But in this case, it's not gonna be that meaning, because in this case, it's not the verb. This is an auxiliary or modal verb. This is the verb, okay? So if you see the sentence, this is not the verb, this is the verb, okay? So now, I'm gonna explain to you this in a little bit more of detail, so pay attention to it. If you have questions at the end, you can always ask me, okay? Let's go. We're gonna talk about the present perfect, okay? The present perfect usually is going to be to talk about experiences. And we have three structures of the present perfect, like always. We have affirmative, negative, and we have questions. For the present perfect, it's very important that you understand that we have three verb columns, okay? So we have the present, the past, and the past participle. Have you ever studied the past participle? Nope. Less, more or less. Okay. Yes, I'll it. Okay. So with the present perfect, we're going to pay attention specifically to the past participle. Let me show you. Okay. Let me show you. I need to show you something. Okay. Here. I found one. Okay. Here. For example. We have the verb in the base form, which is this one, right? Is this column. And then we have the past. But today we're gonna be paying a specific attention to the third column, which is the past participle. If you can see here, it is called the past participle. We need to pay attention to that, okay? So let's see. Um, for example, the verb to be in the present is is, am, and are, right? For example, I can say, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. In the past, the past for am is was, so I can say, I was a teacher. But if I want to talk about the present perfect, I'm going to use the auxiliary have and say, I have been a teacher. Yo he sido una profesora, right? So this is what we're paying attention to, this column right here. I'm going to send you the link of this page because I think it is. Let me. I'm going to send it here and I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Thanks, Miss. Because this it has it has a lot of information actually. Cuz if you can see you can have like the pronunciation and everything. Let's see. This is an... To be, were, been. Yeah, so you see. To have, had, yeah. had. Yeah, for example, this one is different list. To go, went, gone. Yeah, so this, so basically it, all this, like you see, oh, it has a lot of pages. It has four pages, okay? So it has a lot of verbs. Now, um, we're gonna be paying attention to that column, the third column. You have the link there. So if you need to look for a verb, you can go there and look for it, okay? Okay, let's focus on this. Okay, present perfect. We're gonna pay attention to the affirmative in this moment. Okay, for the affirmative, we have a specific rule, which is subject then plus have or has, depending on the subject. Wait a minute, I have a message from Salvador. Yes. Okay. 
I don't know what is happening with his internet, maybe. Okay, subject plus have or has, then plus the verb, but here the verb needs to go in the past participle. Right? Oh, okay, okay, thank you, Noe. I didn't know that. Okay. And then we have a complement. I mute please. I'm sorry, you guys. I had a call from my dad and I had to answer. I'm sorry. I apologize about it. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. <clears throat> so, as I was saying before, subject have has, verb, past participle, and complement. Okay. Now, you have to pay attention to have and has because we're going to use the auxiliary or the modal verb have only with the subjects I, you, we, and they, okay? And the auxiliary or modal has only with the third person singular, right? She, he, and it, okay? <clears throat> now let's do that. So we have first, I, let's make an example. I have traveled to Guatemala before, okay? I have traveled to Guatemala before. I'm talking about an experience. If you want to talk about this in Spanish, you will say like, yo he viajado a Guatemala. This is an activity that happened in the past. Yes, it did but it continues to happen because maybe I'm gonna go again, okay? I'm just telling you about an experience, yeah? Now, for example, if I wanna say an activity that happened in a specific time, and I wanna say, I traveled to Guatemala yesterday, yes, I can use the past. Para eso sí puedo utilizar el pasado, porque esa actividad ya pasó, ya pasó. ayer ya pasó, right? Si lo quiero contar como una experiencia, like I have traveled to Guatemala before, I can say I have, okay? Now, let's do another example. She, what is the uh, auxiliary for she? What is the form of the verb have? Um, has, uh, correct. She has danced, she has danced um, salsa. She has danced salsa, right? Or they have played, always. They have played soccer in that part. Okay, so this is the affirmative structure for the past participle. Okay, now we're gonna go with the negative, which is pretty easy actually. We only have to change and add not. Give me a second. Let me one second. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Okay, let's go here with, uh, let me change, why okay. I cannot change? With the negative. The negative is pretty easy. The only thing that you have to add is not, right? Again, because the modal, it's gonna um, be the negative form. El modal va a negar siempre, okay? So the same thing, subject. But in this case, we're gonna say haven't or hasn't, okay? That's the only thing that is gonna change. The only thing, okay? Haven't or has it. Plus the verb again in the past participle. So 
plus a copia. Okay. Now, for example, that one that said, I have traveled to Guatemala before, the only thing that is going to change is I haven't traveled in the same, same structure, same everything. I haven't traveled to Guatemala before. Okay. How do you think it's going to be for she? She what? She hasn't. She hasn't. Yeah. Easy. She hasn't danced. Dance salsa. Okay. And the last one, I want you to send that to the chat. Okay. Send it to the chat. ¿Cómo quedaría la última? Send it to the WhatsApp chat. I mean, to the Zoom chat. To the Zoom chat. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to be shaking. So this is the structure for negatives. And this is the structure for affirmatives. Okay, correct. Some people send it already. And yes, is they haven't, mm -hmm. they haven't played soccer in that park. Yeah. As simple as that. So basically, this is the present perfect affirmative and negative. If you want to take a screenshot, take the screenshot because I'm gonna go with the questions now, okay? And I'm gonna delete all this information. So maybe take a picture, a screenshot, whatever. <clears throat> Done? Okay. There we go. Now let's go with the questions. Now, how we do the questions is a little bit different, the same, whatever. We're gonna open the question with have or has because it's the modal verb that is helping us. Then we have the subject, then we have the verb. Obviously, you know that is in the past participle. Then we have complement. And then we have obviously a question mark to end the question. Now let's do one. Let's make one example. Have you played soccer before? For the answers, we have two options. Y siempre nos van a ayudar los modales o auxiliares a responder. Please keep that on mind. Auxiliaries or modal verbs, they are always going to help you answer. Because if you can say yes, that's okay, but it's better if you say like with a complete answer yes i have no i haven't so you have two ways of answering to this an affirmative way which will be yes i have or a negative form that will be no sorry i haven't okay like that have you played soccer before now a little key that i'm going to leave you here it's ever Ever, it's going to be like alguna vez, okay? So, for example, if I make these sentences differently, they will be, have you ever, it's pretty common to find the word ever in the present perfect. Have you ever played soccer before? Okay. The same question, but now in this case, I'm using alguna vez, like, First uh, question says, ¿Has jugado eh, fútbol alguna vez? 
But the second question says, no, I mean, la primera dice, ¿has jugado fútbol antes? Y la otra dice, have you ever played soccer before? ¿Alguna vez has jugado fútbol antes? Okay, which is pretty common to find it in this. Same answers, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Another one that you can find is, has she ever, has she ever, hmm, has she ever, has she ever driven a motorcycle, okay? Has she ever driven a motorcycle? Okay, driven is the past participle of drive, right? Drive, drove, driven. That is the correct form. So with the answers, I'm going to go the same. Yes, she has. Or in the negative form, there will be, no, she hasn't. Okay? So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. For yeah. Questions? No questions. I'm unclear. Okay, perfect. Okay. That means that we are understanding the topic. I'm asking you this because we have an activity in the book and we also maybe, maybe, maybe we're going to be doing a kahoot about this. Okay. So you have to be prepare for that. Now, let's see. In the book, we have a, we have an activity that is related with this. And it's the same, right? This one is going to say like the participle form and the auxiliary. This is the auxiliary, have or has, whatever. Yeah, you know that. Okay. So this is the um, activity we're going to do. And the activity says, you're going to order the words. So you're going to unscramble the words to make complete sentences. Yes. Because they are not in the correct order, for example. Oh, well, they are in the correct order. The only thing they are missing is the have or has. For example, Mario. Mario, what is the auxiliary for Mario? Has. Has. Mario has, and then I have to use this verb, but this verb is regular. La ventaja de los regulares es que solo le van a agregar la regla del ED, okay? So changed with E. Mario has changed the fuse, right? And this is negative, you see? So you're gonna do it differently and you're gonna make these statements, yeah? So this is the activity we're gonna do. Pretty easy, nothing complicated at all. What page is this? Uh, is I'm going to tell you right now. Just wait a moment that I'm sending the picture. 32. Page 32. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Thank you. It's on page 32. Okay. Let's work on this. Let me see. Okay, let's go.
Okay, let's see the answers. Can you tell me what is the number one, please, Noe Perez? <clears throat> Mario has changed the fuse. Okay. Choose the next participant, please, Noe. Miss Gabby. Gabby. Number I am here. Number three, two, our two, team. Two, two. two. Yeah. Okay. The production hasn't stopped. Say production. 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 Yeah. Choose the next participant, please, Gabby. <coughs> Daniel, Enrique. Okay. Thank you, Gaby. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Our team have fixed the equipment. Our team what? Have. Have, like that? Have, have okay. fixed the equipment. Okay, are you sure about that? Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, or team is a third person, like it. Okay, so we need to change it to has. Yeah. Mm, okay. okay. Daniel, can you choose the next participant, please? Um, Marvin Arguello. Marvin? No sé si está de escucha, de listener, pero. I'm Marvin. here. Okay, okay. Um, okay, sería Jenny eh, hacen plug, plug it, no sé cómo se pronunciaría. Plug the, plug the. Plug the, cor, the cords. Okay. Choose the next participant, please, Marvin. Um, eh, Salvador Orlando. Okay, Salvador. Okay, the secretary has made enough copy. Okay, Salvador, can you choose the next participant, please? Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Oh, Daniel already. No, Daniel, Daniel ya pasó. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Marco. Marco, okay. Okay. The technician check the connector. The technician what? Has checked. Uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uy, le tuve que poner mute porque si no me iba a poner el copyright de la canción esta de Humbe. <laughs> Del TikTok que se ha hecho viral. Okay, excellent. Yes, so this is the present perfect. Now, this is like a simple activity just to get the idea um, if you're getting like familiar with these rules, right? I don't know. I think you have uh, done this already, but we're going to see. Now I'm going to assign you an activity. Wait a minute. Okay, I sent the link of the activity and I'm going to share uh, the screen to explain to you how we're going to do it. If you can see here, we have like a, a brief explanation about the simple present, right? So about I, you, we, they, I mean the present perfect, he, she, it, and the negative form. So we're gonna see just present perfect, affirmative and negative. So we have affirmative, which is positive as well. And the only thing that I have to do is complete with the auxiliary, the correct one, which is have, 
And then I have to look for the verb in the past participle. In this case, study is a, is a regular verb. So I'm only going to add studied, right? I have studied French. She, what is the correct form for she, the auxiliary? She has. She has. And then she has. Exact. Exact. Now, this is for the affirmative. Let's go with the negatives. The negatives, you're going are gonna to add, we haven't. Okay, and what is the correct form of be in the past participle? Been. I said been, okay. Begin. Haven't been to Paris, okay? And when you finish that, you're going to click on finished. Then you're going to click on check my answers. And you see? Is correct and is correct. Oh, why is this any correct? Eating, eating. Wait, what? Eating, Let's look for it. Eat, 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 eat. Uh, no. Coach, it's eating. Eating. Only, only one T, right? Yeah. So, yes, yeah, and yes, I put it with double T. Okay, and I, sorry about that. And I put it with double T. Sorry about that. Okay, there you have the link. So we can go and work together. Let me see. Who uh, or what participants are on a computer? ¿Quién puede compartir pantalla? Necesito tres para mandar los líderes en grupos. Okay, Salvador es uno. Me, ¿Ah? me, me. Jorge es otro. Okay. Me. Aníbal también puede compartir. Ok, denme un segundo para enviarlos a todos. Bueno, Salvador, ya está en una sala. Jorge. Me tienen que ir para la misma sala. Jorge está en otra. Y Aníbal. Está en otra. Si está alguien más, I need someone else. Me puedo compartir pantalla. Yeah. Miguel. Amba. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, I think we can go there. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, let's go.
Hello Edgar, ¿lo sacó de la clase? ¿Cómo lo tengo YouTube?
Thank you.
cuál sería el... ah, pues, tal vez algún espacio estaba en... que puso uh -huh. oh, bueno no sé pero pusieron tilde en todas <ríe> no sé por qué la ah, tengo ah se ve por la tilde esa la está puerta. al revés yes. está, está al revés por eso no, no la está al, al contrario de las otras ok yes. <ríe> mis para mandarlo ya no puedo no, 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 solo tiene que mandar la nota arriba, solo la captura, dale por arriba, 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 arriba. ahí le aparece 10 de 10, ahí abajo, 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 ahí abajito aparece 10 de 10, ahí, 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 ahí. Esta. Ya, ahí dice 10 de 10, arribita del tema. Uh -huh, okay. Arribita de present perfect. Ya, solo eso. Ok. Esa captura así de ese pedacito nada más. Ok. Bueno. <coughs> Del país Vaya a estudiar, le dijeron. ¿Tú vas a ten? Yeah. Yeah, let me yes. go up, 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 up. Go up. Vaya en arriba, go up, go up. Me metraba, Miss. Ok. Need a new computer, Miss. Yeah, I can see that. <coughs> Up. Ahí en la parte de arriba donde aparece el tema. Okay, esa es la nota. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Congratulations. <coughs> yeah. Everybody. You? Everybody. <laughs> al al a la sala general, o sea, a la sala general, no al grupito. Mm. Miss, I'm here. Okay. Hello, yes. miss. Arriba, vayan arriba, 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 arriba. Arriba qué? Arriba, 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 arriba. arriba. Ahí, 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 ahí está la nota. Siete de diez. Ahí está la nota. Where? Miss, but but um, the pro the the the, the, the ah, the solo tenía... <laughs> solo lo que pasa es que tenían que poner nada más la respuesta de have y el verbo ahí lo demás yeah. ya está escrito ahí por eso no salió mal it's okay don't worry it's okay yeah good okay. job Go up, I want to see the gray. Go up, up, up. Uh -oh. Go up, please. We have some bad sentences, teacher. I can see that. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Go up, up, up. More arriba. More abajo? No. Up. I said up. 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 Yeah, there. Ahí tiene la nota, 8 de 10. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Estoy aquí, ya vine. Yes, yes. Ok. I can see that. Hello, welcome, Karen. Ay, thank you, Miss. <laughs> you were working? Yes. At what time do you get off work? Today was today was a tired day. Tired day. Yes. But you work from what time to what time? Mm, 
to 8 a.m. From 8 a.m.? From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But today, um, hora extra? I don't know. Overtime? Overtime, yes, because están trayendo demasiados carros. No sé cómo decirlo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Many and everything are. is crazy with that. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but they pay you. The... But do they pay you the the overtime? Yes, that's good. <laughs> but I think that is for the la temporada. Because it's it's really the, yeah, right now. Oh, everybody. Sorry. What? Right, right now, everybody in el, in all the I don't know all the countries. Estamos en la época consumista, right? Like, Karen will have so so many so much money in december <laughs> for the overtime oh yeah that would uh, that's, that's good that's good that's always yeah. good. karen paid the churritos <laughs> okay <laughs> a ronda of churritos to everybody <laughs> okay. <laughs> with, okay. with or with orchata yeah orchata yes <laughs> okay just orchata, to orchata. end up uh or to finish with this topic, which is the present perfect. I don't know if you have any questions about it. Uh, something, some word, words mm -hmm. we know, no, not to know the. We didn't know. We, we, we didn't know. know the past of the words. Okay. We have to practice and learn more. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, I think that I think that is a a topic um difficult topic for the verb. Because, yeah, because you only have to use the third line of the verbs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's but it's not difficult. It's not I mean I mean it's difficult, but it's not the hardest, right? It, it's pretty <clears throat> Wait a second. Solamente tienen que acostumbrarse. It's you have to get used to it and you will be see. Okay, let me see something. Okay. So we're gonna play a Kahoot, okay? About the present perfect. I'm gonna send you the link. And we're going to see cómo vamos entendiendo, right? And we're going to see if we're understanding this topic really good or not. Wait a minute. I'm going to send you the link. Okay. Oh, wait. Se lo mandé solo Karen. <laughs> okay, to everybody. Now, there. There you have it. You have to write your names, remember. Yes, we play Kahoot. Yes. Yeah, that's what it said. Quiero ver si así de contento. Quiero ver si así de contento van a estar al final del del Kahoot. <laughs> you are so bad. Um, let me. Um, I am Shamba Miss. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are the only Chamba here. A mí me salió un muñequito bien feo, Miss. Lo puedo cambiar. Yeah, ahí, se, ahí le parece de editarlo. Ahí donde está en el perfil de ahorita le puedo. <laughs> Um, okay. Okay, I have 14 participants. If 
15. ¿Y cuántos tengo conectados? 20. Well, 19. Okay, I have 16. Ya no voy a esperar mucho. I don't know why I can't enter. Sí, sí, aquí solo si usted comparte podemos jugarlo. Este, ¿cómo? Si yo les comparto el link. Ajá, digamos, si yo me quedo con el link y luego quiero seguirlo jugando, lo puedo hacer. No, no. <ríe> solo cuando yo inicie una competencia. Ok. No, yo ya estoy listo. Ok, excelente. Vamos ¿De, de, qué, ¿De qué se trata el juego? Yo no lo he jugado, ya lo han jugado antes. Ah, sí, sí lo hemos jugado antes. ¿Lo he estado cuando lo hemos jugado? No. Okay. Es que van a ir apareciendo preguntas, van a ir haciendo, apareciendo preguntas y usted va a ir seleccionando la correcta. Por la rapidez okay. con que conteste, ya se desconectó alguien, no sé quién se desconectó. Por la no rapidez con la que conteste, este, ahí está en WhatsApp y aquí en, 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 en los dos lugares está el link. Ahí está en WhatsApp y aquí. Entonces, por lo rápido que conteste y por lo bien que conteste, le va a dar puntos. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. Okay, we're going to start because it's time already, okay? So let's see. Let's start. Get ready. Okay. You have to complete. Have you ever to Moscow? Mm -hmm. Have you ever to Moscow? What is the correct verb? Seen? What? Two, one. Solo tenemos 10 segundos para contestar. Let's go. Bye. Okay. Have you ever to Moscow? Been, because been is the past participle of the verb be, right? Let's go with the next one. She done her homework. Have, is, had, has. Only 10 seconds to answer. Remember que aquí solo tenemos 12 segundos para contestar. <coughs> has. Ex Uy, se fue alguien para abajo. No. Let's see. She has started in the school. Oh, aquí tienen que poner este, desde. Es la respuesta. Desde. Sorry. Porque si dice, ella estudió en la escuela en 2000, no, ¿verdad? No tiene sentido. Desde tendría que ser. Chamba, welcome to the board. Karen, too. Excellent. To the podium. Dave. Ellos acaban de llegar. <coughs> Justo. ¿Quién es ese? I don't know. We haven't gone out. Aún. Aún. Three, two, one. Remember, only 10 seconds to answer. Only 10 seconds. Wow. Okay. No, pero si andan bien en este tema. Oh, my goodness. Excellent, Noé, Daniel, Karen, excellent, good job. Let's see.
Okay. Bien, andamos bien. That means that we're good. Okay. Va cambiando esto, va cambiando. Tenemos I don't know in the first place, Noé Pérez in the second place, Sara third place, Karen fourth place, and fifth place, Jorge López. Let's go to the next one. It rained. ¿Ha llovido? Miguel, what happened? I can join me. Sí puede todavía con el link. Sí, no, no, no lo encuentro, no me aparece en el chat de Zoom. Aquí en el chat de Zoom. Ya se lo vuelvo a mandar, pues. Denme un segundito. Voy a ascender aquí. Mire ahí. ¿Te le aparece? Acabo de mandar de nuevo. Ya, ya, ya. Remember that is in this one you only have 10 seconds to answer, okay? 10 seconds. Y luego pasa la siguiente pregunta. I mean, it finished. The time is up. Let's go. So have I don't know in the first place, Noé in the second place, Karen in the third place. Okay, so Karen now is in third place. Sara in the fourth place and Chamba in fifth place. ¿Quién es ese I don't know? Have you ever? Pam, 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 pam. ¿Alguna vez has estado en Roma? Oh my goodness, you're really good in this game, you guys. Okay, so we'll still have the same positions. Have you played golf? The word que les enseñé. ¿Qué sirve para decir alguna vez? Excellent. Let's see. Oh, Chamba se fue, vino Daniel. Oh my God, Chamba is gone. Daniel is here. Excellent, let's continue. We haven't seen you a long time. For a long time, yeah. We still have the same positions. I don't know, Noe Perez, Karen, Sara, Daniel. My aunt has lived in Madrid desde. Oh my God, you're really good at this, excellent. Same positions. I don't know. Tiene la racha de respuestas más altas con once. Let's go. She has been there for tres días. Okay, excellent. You're doing so good, you guys. Okay, so Daniel is gone. Now we have a milk card in the podium. We have I don't know in the first place. Que no sabemos quién es I don't know. Noe Pérez, Karen Castro, Sara, and Amilcar. Karen dice, vengo de trabajar, pero vengo con todo. We've been waiting desde. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. What happened? At, es que se confundieron con la hora, baby. <laughs> desde las, era el que teníamos que decir, desde las, no. Let's see how we have the podium. So we have, I don't know, Noe Pérez, Sara, right? Karen Castro, and Amilcar. Let's continue. All of us have been learning English desde también. 
pero sí en el podio, don't worry. Ok. Excelente. ¿Quién es esa persona? I don't know. La voy a eliminar de la tabla si no me dice quién es. Y mire que va prima. Ok, excelente. Let's go. We have met Pedro. También diría yo que es de este. O por... Ah, oh, no, yo creo que es de, por cinco años. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. es por... Yeah, yeah, es por... Yeah, correcto. Yeah. Ah, ah, sabía que se iban a equivocar varios. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. Sara is in second place now, okay? So Noé is in third place, Karen in fourth place, and Amilcar in fifth place. Let's go. How long have you English? How long have you? Aha, uh -huh. the past is studied, right? It's a regular verb. Excellent. Let's continue. How long has she, her dog, ha tenido? No se vayan a confundir porque es el past participle, past participle. Had, I knew it. Yo sabía que se iba a confundir con has, no. Ahí estaba el has ya, look, it is there already, ya estaba ahí. Let's continue. Okay, so Karen is in third place now. So we have the podium. I don't know in the first place. Sara in the second place. Karen in the third place. Noe Perez in fourth place. And Amilcar in fifth place. Let's go. How long have you... Oh. Ah, ah, my God, it's known. Known her. How long she had the car? How long? It's an auxiliary for she, right? <laughs> ah, she had the car. Excellent. Si en la siguiente ronda no me dicen quién es esa persona, lo vamos a eliminar. Ese I don't know que aparece ahí arriba. Vamos a eliminar. Mm. How long you been in this school? It's for you, the auxiliary for you, right? Don't get confused. Excellent. Only two person got it wrong. Yo digo que eliminemos ese participante. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? ¿Lo eliminamos? Sí, eliminado. Sí. ¿Eliminamos? Sí. ¿Eliminamos? ¿Eliminamos? ¿Lo eliminamos? Sí. Ya les sí. dice que no, Karen defiende. Hagamos una votación. ¿Quién quiere que eliminemos al primer participante? Oh know. my God, hasta levantaron la mano ahí. Oh my goodness. Solo Karen dice que no. Ok, ok. Bueno. Karen, Karen tiene dos usuarios. Vamos a eliminar este participante a la cuenta de uno. One, two, three. Se fue. Because it was me, era yo. Ah. Ah. Quería emocionarme un ratito con ustedes. Hey. Gracias, Karen. Gracias. Thank you, Karen. Okay, have you eaten lobster? Have you, alguna vez, verdad? Have you ever eaten lobster? So Sara, now we have a different board because I'm not in there already. So we have Sara in the first place, Karen in second place, Amilcar in, for, in third place, Daniel in fourth, M Noe in the fifth place. Come on, everything can change. I have... Uh, mm, no le voy a dar la pista, pero ahí está una que puede ser que cambie esa tabla. Mm, 
Never. Oh my goodness. Only one person got it right. No, I can't believe it. Digo, nunca he ido a Francia. Nunca. I have never been to France. <gasps> okay, let's see. ¿Quién es esa persona que lo tuvo correcto? Sara. Oh my God, Sara. You are on fire. That's the smallest car I ever... Oh, ya le di la respuesta. Ah, sorry. My mouth. Bueno, ahí depende de la velocidad. Ya le di la respuesta. Ya, si le sale mal la respuesta, ya, ya no puedo hacer mucho. Mm. Ya, no, ya no salí del fondo yo. Ya. Oh, my goodness. Sara, Karen, Amilcar, Daniel, en Noé. Por estar viendo el mis. Ah, no, ¿por qué está viendo eso? <risa> bueno, porque como trabaja en la radio, mañana necesita yeah. dar informe. Yeah. Oh. Nah. oh, still, oh my goodness. I can't decide. I still haven't made a decision. Aún no tomo una decisión. Vamos, que se puede. Oh, my God, Amilcar, you are in second place now. Wow, okay. Amilcar viene desde abajo también, you guys. The teacher. Aún no ha dicho nada sobre la tarea. Two, one, se acaba el tiempo. Still the same as the last one. Era la misma que la anterior. Okay. Se puede, que se puede, que se puede. Así como Miss Universo puede ganar también ustedes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Cuddle. Lo mismo que aún, ¿verdad? Era la misma. Así venimos diciendo la misma desde ayer rato. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Same positions. Same places. The students... Pam, 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 pam. Okay, the students have booked flight to Vienna. Okay, let's continue. Only three more questions. The cat. Oh. Just put on a piece, I okay, just has caught. Excellent. Only two questions, two more, two more, and that's it. I. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, eight and eight have just speed. This is. Uh, I mean, base form. This is the past participle, but. Todavía alguien, ¿será que puede emerger desde las oscuridades de las profundidades? ¿Cuántos? Faltan. Oh, my God. One. Ah, oh, pues no. <laughs> <laughs> Children. Okay. Have a yeah. What I'm ha I'm happy. Una más, una más, una más. No, ya subieron todos. <laughs> oh, that's it. Let's see. Vamos a ver el podium. Third place is for Karen Castro. An applause for Karen. Number two, second place, Amilcar. Good job, Amilcar. An applause. And the first place is for 
Sara, excellent, good job. Premios para Daniel, fourth place en Esmeralda, in the fifth place, good job, you did a good job. Vamos a ver en general qué nos dice, cómo andamos en este tema. How are we doing in this topic? What it says? Tell, let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver aquí el resume, like, the, no, I mean the summary. Oh, sacamos 5.4 como equipo. Muy bien, equipo. So no that... five. <laughs> para, para, para la primera vez, estamos bien. Yeah. ¿Nunca había jugado Kahoot con ustedes? No. La segunda, no. segunda, oh. segunda vez. Segunda vez. Oh, yeah. the second time. Yo creo que algunos estuvieron que no estaban en la primera vez, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, excelente. But you did an amazing job. Good job. Para los que estaban en especial por primera vez, digamos, ¿verdad? Que le, le damos el chance. We're going to give the opportunity. Vale. Igual, ya vamos a ir avanzando en estos temas y van a ir viendo más temas todavía. Ok, let's continue here. This, this game is fun. Yo por eso quise jugar al inicio, pero después me eliminé porque dije yo, no, no es justo, ¿verdad? No es justo, <risa> es justo que yo esté ahí. It's not fair. Uh, me, you are me, the hacker. Yeah, I was the hacker, yes. Me, eh, y era más injusto todavía para estar at the first place, no me. Ok. Let's continue here. And we have this activity. Well, it's like a... a conversational activity. Can you read the first sentence, please, Adán Antonio? I mean, the first question. Adam Antonio? Hello? The first question, please. Do you often get, get sick? Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's read the second sentence, please, Gabriela. What are the produ proce procedures to report a work absence? Okay, thank you very much, Gabriela. So, do you ever get sick? Ah, ya le vamos a hacer la pregunta del millón aquí. Do you ever get sick? Do you often get sick? Si alguna vez han ido al seguro para que le den incapacidad y no tenían incapacidad. No, nadie. Yo, yo conozco un doctor que la da. Ah, oh my goodness. Ah, pues entonces ya lo ha hecho. Yo solo digo que tengo gripe y no puedo entrar. Ya. Yeah. ¿Qué? Yo, no. Pero, o sea, ajá. In my case, we have a clinic. Um, the doctor examine the 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 personnel. Mm -hmm. um, is he evaluate if necessary incapacidad? I don't know. I don't know how to say incapacidad in English. Let's well, like an absent, a day sick. Miss, mm -hmm. uh, what does mean absence? Absence is uh, absence is meaning not being present. When you are not present in a place, you are absent. Ausente. Ausente yeah, or... correct. What are the Vamos a quitar por el absence. Okay, absence. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um. What? Yo. I will hope que ustedes no llaman y dicen estoy enfermo y no están enfermo, verdad? Yo espero que no, porque yo nunca he hecho eso. Never. <laughs> Never. Me. Me too, miss. Me too. Never in my life. No he ido al doctor. <laughs> Más en la época del COVID, que no le revisaban a uno la garganta. Hasta este año han empezado a revisar. <laughs> right. Ok. <laughs> Let's go and practice that, those questions.
Okay, you guys, let's go with the last activity for this uh, session. Qué rápido se ha ido el tiempo ahora. No sé si ustedes han sentido igual que yo, que like it really fast. Yes, miss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true. It's like, oh my God, it's, it's, it's 10 already. Okay, <laughs> let's present. go with the last. What, what present? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's go. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay? Now, in this conversation, you see a lot of words involved. Those words are idioms. Okay? Tomorrow we're going to look at idioms. Idioms. How to use idioms in English. For example, my stomach is killing me. Eso es mentira. No me está matando el estómago. Pero me... Yeah, sick as dog. Tan enfermo como un perro. Eso significa... What in Spanish? Do we have an equivalent in Spanish? <laughs> Nunca lo había oído. Dolor insoportable. Estar muriendo. Choleña. Ajá, bueno, sí, he hecho leña, he hecho leña. Yeah. Yeah. Porque literalmente uno no es leña ni es árbol. Pero ya, ya, ya. Así que es un dog. Así que es un dog, yes, in English. And under the weather, ya saben que es under the weather, right? Yeah. No. Como sentir, sentirte enfermo bajo el clima, así se dice bajo el clima, pero significa I am sick, right? That's what it means. Okay, let me send you the screenshot and then I'm going to send you the audio. Porque qué rápido se fue esta clase, oh my goodness. I was sure that we had time, we still had time. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice day, rest of the day. I made it better. Sorry. Okay, let's go with the last activity. We're just going to practice, okay? Tomorrow we're going to say it. But today we're just going to practice because it's late already. I didn't know it was this late. What is it?
Por eso es mis. <risa> <risa> Almost there, wait, be patient. Ok, ya, yeah, vamos a empezar. Yeah. Have a good night. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all want to go to Mimir. Yeah, so... <laughs> ok, let's go. Adán Antonio Agui... Ramírez Aguirre. Hello. Present. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're sleeping already. Carlos Amilcar Campos, Valencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Pues, Alexis Pérez Hernández Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García Present Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano Present Jonathan Stanles Pérez López <coughs> Jorge Ernesto López Rivera Present Miss José Ernesto Alemán García Present Miss Karen Berenice Castro Avelar Present Miss Marco Antonio Vanegas Vanegas Corleto Present Miss Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza Present Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín Present Miss Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos Noé Aníbal González López. Present Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present Miss. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. I'm here. Um, Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present Miss. Let's go to Mimir. Bye bye. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Miss Castro. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Miss Castro. Bye, Karen. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye bye.